Hi, welcome to my kitchen. I'm going to be making something really nice and simple tonight to drink. Uh, it's really cold outside. I came back and I need something to warm up. So what we're going to be making is something nice and warming. And it's uh, a really old recipe and it's from uh, Mrs. Beaton's Book of Household Management. And it is Mrs. Beaton's recipe for mulled ale. Almost. I haven't quite got the ingredients, but it's close enough. A quart, which is roughly a litre of good ale. I'm using this um, 6.2 Broughton IPA. It's a nice, dark, robust IPA. We're going to be putting more alcohol and spices into it. So you want something that's going to hold its own. And I'm going to be adding a tablespoon of sugar into the mix, plus ground nutmeg, ground nutmeg, ground ginger, and ground cinnamon. Now I say it's not quite Mrs. Beaton's recipe. Um, she was using cloves rather than cinnamon. Didn't have any cloves tonight. And I guess you, if you can get uh, fresh nutmeg to grind in, that's better, obviously. I'm using the ground stuff, but a pinch of each is going in the glass of sugar. So that was the cinnamon, the nutmeg, and lastly, the ginger. So just a good Decent sized pinch of each. Okay, let's get the beer open. As I say, a quart of beer, which is approximately one litre. So two of these half litre bottles. And we're going to be heating this up, not to boiling point, but pretty close to boiling. Turn the heat down a bit. Right, in goes the spices and sugar. Let's give that a good stir. Now I used a pan which is only just big enough. You probably want to use a larger pan when you do it, but that's fine. It's all in there. So we're just going to let that heat for a few minutes. We're going to add the rum very last minute. I'm putting in two large 15 ml measures of rum. Let's just stick them in that glass. You could try something else. You could try whiskey, vodka, but no, I think it brandy or rum would be the best thing. Okay, I think it's I think it's nearly done. Um, got my mug ready, and I'm just going to pour this in the mug carefully. Oh shit! Okay, I'm not going to do that. You know what? That's not going to work, is it? I'm going to put this back in and just pour it out again. Add the rest of the rum. There we go. Now let's pour this back into the glass. At least it be well mixed. So there's been a lot of spillage, but here's the final product. Uh, it's looking good. Let me just show you. Got a real um, spicy, old fashioned warm Christmas smell to it. Let's try it. Oh, that's good. Um, real kick of the rum, but the warming spices underneath 
and um, I'm glad I used a strong ale because I think it needed it needed the strong ale to carry the rest of it. Um, this is great, definitely recommend it. If you try it with cloves, let me know how it is. I, I use cinnamon instead of cloves. Um, uh, you know, it's in the old days they probably did that as well. They just used whatever they had. Anyway, thanks for watching.